what is up guys here off Mora here back again with another video and today we'll be taking a look at the Marvel Select Avengers Infinity War Spider-Man no Iron Spider they just labeled it the wrong so let's get into it quickly take a look around the packaging the front nothing on the top nor the bottom on the side on the back pause if you want to read that and nothing else without further ado let's get into it Doing some size comparisons, here is Iron Spider compared to other Marvel Select figures from The Amazing Spider-Man 2 all the way up to the MCU, also some Legends figures. So just taking a look at the uh, peg hole here for the uh, legs, you can see that uh, they are sculpted on the uh, golden parts here. Uh, so be cautious when uh, removing the iron spider legs because uh, they do have a tendency to um, uh, kind of uh, stress and um, it's very unfortunate that I broke my first figure so this uh, figure right here that I have reviewing right now is the second figure that I bought so these iron spider legs have four points of articulation they uh, hinge at the yellow parts and then they also rotate but uh, when rotating it be cautious because when uh, you try to force it it will stretch out the plastic and eventually will snap so just moving the little tip here just a little bit and they are kind of loose at the base but um, some of these uh, bigger um, hinges there are a little bit stiffer so yeah probably some hot or uh, warm water or a hair dryer could um, probably make these things uh, rotate but yeah you can get the four points of articulation right there on all four legs and you notice how the bottom legs kind of curve uh, they did not um, uh, rotate that uh, on accident that is purposely uh, supposed to be there and is supposed to have a curve now showing you the different styles so these are uh, what the legs look like when they're all spread out right there and when they're all bent in right there and a couple more looks with the uh, legs so yeah that's what that looks like it looks pretty cool even though it is not the accurate color probably for those customizers out there go ahead make it more accurate because this is an amazing figure I'll talk about it soon. For Iron Spider's accessories, he comes with a total of four pairs of hands. So one pair of fisted hands, one pair of web grabbing hands, and one pair of thwipping hands, including the wall crawling hands. So taking a look at the fist here, uh, pretty basic sculpt, uh, nice metallic red, pretty shiny as well. Uh, no paint job inside the uh, webbing here, but that's okay. So this is what the fist looks like uh, on the figure. And this is what the uh, web grabbing hands on the figure. I use the uh, Marvel Select Amazing Spider-Man 2 webs for this uh, look. And don't forget the thwipping hands right there. So taking a closer look at Spider-Man here, starting off with the head sculpt. I really do like this head sculpt. Uh, the um, eyes are painted cleanly as well. The head is proportional to the body. Looking at the back here, clean paint job uh, mostly throughout. You can see there's a little chip right there on his shoulder blade, which is quite unfortunate, but it doesn't bother me that much. Nice gold paint across the um, double hinge elbows right there. Looking inside the uh, armpit joint, you can see nothing much going on. The um, arm guard here, this little web shooter, is a separate piece right there. Uh, the white, uh, I'm guessing that's supposed to be the arc reactor, is painted sloppily, but that is okay. You can see moving the joints right there. You can see it's painted all the way through, but be cautious look uh, when um, rotating the um, waist joint because you might uh, scuff up the paint while moving it uh, forward and back. So just looking at the details in there, nothing much on the back here. You can see some nice sculpted details all the way inside his little um, crotch area as well. Uh, nothing, um, no uh, black paint on these little um, lining panel lining details, but um, nonetheless, it is uh, fairly uh, clean paint uh, all throughout, and I really like the metallic reds. And he has peg holes at the bottom of his feet. Now what I love about this figure is the articulation. They kind of stepped it up from the uh, Spider-Man Homecoming figure. So you got a ball hinge at the head here all the way around. It can look up that far which is great for some uh, wall crawling poses and down that much which is also great if you want to recreate some shots of him getting on the Q-ship and looking down. Unfortunately no tilty shifty head movement. That is a huge bummer for me. Uh, the arms do rotate all the way around. They can bend outward that far. 
you can push it further than that up to 90 degrees but you could damage or scuff up the shoulder uh, and inward that much uh, which is eh, would have been nice if it had more he has a uh, bicep swivel double jointed elbows full bend right there which I love now the wrist here I have the whipping hand here on the uh, right so it does rotate all the way around like so and it can bend down that far and it can bend up that much and you can see how the little tip right there bends uh, uh, back but that's okay it is made out of a soft rubbery plastic so don't worry about it breaking uh, off if you're worried now the uh, torso here I really love the torso so you can bend forward that far at the chest or the uh, uh, upper ab and then you could bend at the waist down there same thing back right there on the uh, upper chest and another joint right there on the waist it kind of leaves a gap right there which is quite unfortunate but that's okay has a rotation all the way around same thing on the waist joint so you can get some pretty good dynamic poses with this which I really love right there big step up and you could also rotate the chest all the way around or the uh, upper uh, torso if you want to uh, not uh, not so much with the waist but that's okay Leg can, uh, legs can kick forward that far oh my god I have so much to say about this figure and back not that much which is okay um, his uh, legs here has an upper thigh swivel all the way around double jointed knees which is great full bend feet bend down that far and up that much which is also great for some uh, dynamic poses which I always say and he also has the ankle pivot and doing the ankle pivot test that's how far his hips can go or his legs he is good to go so yeah that is it guys hope you guys like it be sure to rate comment and subscribe to hit the bell turn on notifications because there are more videos coming hopefully by the the end of next week or this week i can get my doctor strange because it still hasn't shipped from sideshow but anyways overall i really do like this figure oh my god look at that cool shot right there sliding shot um great articulation a big improvement from the spider-man homecoming and i think just marvel select figures in general i'm i don't really collect a lot of marvel select only the mcu figures uh, when I came across this one, I noticed how the um, the uh, the leg joints aren't the DCEU kind of a straight line cut, um, kind of those blocky um, uh, um, leg joints. It's more rounded off. Uh, great improvement in the um, uh, chest area, the torso. Uh, pretty nice range in the legs. Uh, my only complaints complaints are. Uh, once you uh, articulate the leg, the pain has a tendency to rub off. That is very common with diamond select figures. And the legs here, the Iron Spider legs, are pretty uh, loose uh, on some figures and pretty stiff. And they could potentially break up if break off if you um, uh, pose them the wrong way. Uh, but other than those gripes, um, yeah, he is a great figure. Go pick him up right now. Hope you guys like it. Air off more of us. This is the sign of now. Peace.